Hello and welcome. I'm Vineet with James Alter for CricketCountry.com. Uh, the first test at Edgbaston, Joe Root, the England captain, has won the toss and opted to bat first. But that is not uh, the big news. The big news is for India. There is no Cheteshwar Pujara, no Ravinder Jadeja, no Kuldeep Yadav. Shikhar Dhawan finds her place. Jamie, your initial reactions? Yeah, we were just talking about this a few, a few minutes ago, and uh, clearly, what we felt um, was not the case at all. Shikhar Dhawan has been dropped and the team management has kept faith in Shikhar Dhawan, a batsman, um, it has to be said, whose overseas forms in bowler friendly conditions has not been up to the mark in Test cricket. Uh, the mind wanders back to the series in South Africa in January this year when, uh, again, his frailties against the short ball were really exposed by Morning Markle, Vernon Flander and Dale Stain. And then the fact that in his most recent match, that three-day tour game against Essex, Dhawan scored two ducks and last four balls. But he has won the faith of the team management and Pujara, a batsman, um, unfortunately, whose place often seems to be under scrutiny when the runs dry up. Yes, his runs uh, against the red ball were not uh, that good for Yorkshire and he also didn't do much uh, in the practice match. But he's a batsman who recently said that the team management had told exactly. him that his place was secure. And now he finds himself dropped again uh, with KL Rahul batting at number three. Um, to me, a big surprise, as is, like we said, uh, Kuldeep Yadav. Um, India have gone with one spinner in Ashwin and uh, three fast bowlers in, in Umesh, uh, Ishan and, and, uh, Shaman. and Shaman. It's pretty much the same thing uh, what England said in their press conference. They are also going with uh, one spinner only that is Adil Rashid. It has to do I think more with the uh, the, the pitch, trend bowl, uh, the edge bastion pitch. Everyone was talking about that heat wave and everything. The pitch would be drier but again, uh, exact opposite to that. Your fast bowlers are your key right yeah. now. Again, uh, it takes us back to the traditional template in England, 4-1. Uh, yeah. uh, very few teams played two spinners. Um, England did drop Moin Ali, their, their all-rounder, who's been a pivotal player for them uh, with the ball. I mean, look, four years ago, he took, what, 18, 19 wickets against England. Last summer against South Africa, he was man of the series, won a test match uh, with a hat-trick. Uh, but again, just the one spinner in Adil Rashid. I personally, last night when that news broke, I did not see the same template playing itself out with the Indian team. I thought Kuldeep, um, the X Factor, the hold he's had over uh, England's batsmen um, over the last one month you know, in, 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 uh, in white wall cricket uh, would give him a chance. But again, they've gone back to the most experienced spinner, Ashwin, yeah. um, a very, very good off spinner, one whose record in England is not good, but again, it's just two test matches, offers a very good batting cover down yeah. the order. So I can see to an extent the logic, um, but again, one spinner and four, uh, four fast bowlers. Mohammad Shami, I think, will be under some scrutiny given all that's happened to him right. uh, in the last few months. And he went wicketless in the tour match against uh, Essex. Essex. So, but again, we're the ones talking here. We're not the Indian think, think tank for a reason. Uh, depends to how, how, it plays how, out. how it plays out. It will depend. Let's get into the nitty gritties of it. Uh, the openers. Murli Vijay, Shikhar Dhawan, we know Murli Vijay is somebody who's going to play out that new ball, uh, new ball from Anderson and uh, Stuart Bott. What about Shikhar Dhawan? What is he going to do? And then you have someone like KL Rahul, again flamboyant. He gets his uh, starts but does not really convert them. So we talked about the top order conundrum there. Rahane is not uh, in the thick of runs. Virat Kohli again, it's a proving ground for him. That middle order, just because there's no Chetesha Pujara, looks very susceptible. Yeah, look, I think that's also, uh, England have won the toss, so there's a clear plan. We have no batting worries. Um, we have, this is pretty much our, our first choice team in our mind. Let's bat first. Um, I think if, if the conditions were conditioned to see in bowling, you would have seen Joe uh, Joe Root go for Anderson and go for yeah. right now. Um, there's a heat wave uh, surrounding England, um, for most of the country. Uh, the track is not going to play, to my mind, um, that up and down. So batting first, uh, pile the runs up, and then... Like you said, hope to go for that Indian batting lineup, which has a lot of questions. Starting at the top, Murli Vijay, um, a very dependable England uh, India opener, has yeah. runs across the, uh, the the globe, runs in England four years ago. Shikhar Dhawan again just does not have, to my mind, I mean maybe it's harsh, does not have the pedigree to succeed consistently in these conditions. Oh, again, I've talked about right. that series against South Africa. Look, look, out of sorts. Yes, different team, different tracks. But if Anderson, Broad, and Sam Kern and Ben Stokes are at their best, he's going to have a tough time. You can pack in slips, the feet don't move. That's why someone like Kehal Rahul, I see the logic in playing him, and I'm surprised that he that he is uh, coming at number three. I would have had him opening. Um, he's a young player. There's also a possibility player. that Rahane moves at number three and Kehal Rahul comes at number five. 
I don't think they will trust Rahane at the number three slot. I mean, look, all that happened to him in South Africa didn't play the first two series. Finally, came in, scored a good uh, knock in the second innings. You want Rahane getting back to his prime place, and that is in the middle order. Yeah. You have Rahul, who has done the job in India's last Test match. Let's face it, um, was against Afghanistan in June. He batted at number three there, got a half, a quick half century. Uh, in that match, there was no Kohli, so Pujara batted at four. But again, you know, Virat Kohli, we talked about that average of, of what, 10, 12, 13, you know, four years ago, has a lot to prove. He made some really big comments uh, last night about how he just his focus is scoring runs and helping India win. Um, a lot of pressure on the Indian batting, for sure. Let's talk about England here before we wrap up. England, again, uh, as you said, there's no batting worries for them. Alastair Cook, Kitten Jennings is probably a young guy, but again, he can. It's his home conditions. George Butler, Joe Root, Johnny Besto in terrific form. Adil Rashid comes in. You have Stuart Broad and James Anderson. Yes, not in their prime, cannot last uh, five test matches, but given... Uh, you, you just treat them the way they are, they're probably going to, Joe Root going to get the best out of them. Look, when it comes to England's batting order, it seems that since Andrew Strauss retired, they've really struggled to find Cook's opening partner. Yeah. So to my mind, it, it doesn't really matter who comes. He may fail, he may go. Cook is the guy who needs to score runs. Um, he showed signs of that against uh, against India A for Indian Lions. And then you would like you said, Root, Bairstow, Stokes, Butler. These are, these are batsmen who have scored runs against India and they had uh, good form against the white ball, white ball cricket. So really no no batting concern. I would have liked to see Moin Ali there just because he offers a different depth at number 7. Yeah. Um, now that, that gap is something which India can look to really go for. But again, England, um, 100 test match, inspiration not required, Edgerson has been their fortress. India has not won there. Yes, yeah, England have not uh, won the last three test series, but at home, you know, they're favorites. It's a five test match series. We saw um, last month against Pakistan, two match series, one one. Imagine how awesome it would have been had there been a third test or a fourth test. Yeah. When it comes to a five test series, which really stretches both teams, you have to go for England because they are more experienced and more equipped to play five test series. Exactly. India, we saw it in 2014, drew it Trent Bridge. One, one at Lord, and then lost three in a row. They're already without Bhuneshwar Kumar, just three um, Riddhi Man Saha. Three, I would say, first choice players aren't there. You have Karthik making a comeback um, into the team. Um, you have Ashwin, not a good record in uh, in England, and Shikhar Dhawan so far hasn't been able to buy a run exactly. um, against the Red Bull. So, yeah. That's about it from us. Uh, rankings really don't matter. India are number one, England number five. But just looking at the past history and record and momentum, England have a slight advantage here. And with them winning the toss, also it's just advantage for them. Uh, we will be back with Devon's wrap. Uh, till that time, uh, keep yourself logged on to cricketcountry.com for everything cricket.